Hello everyone, this is uh, Ron again with Strangely Normal, getting back to a regular episode. Um, today I'm taking a look at a game that um, I enjoyed a little bit as a kid. I played more of its sequel. Um, this game, the game that I'm looking at is uh, Destruction Derby for the original PlayStation, as you saw. Uh, this game was released in 1995, uh, released by uh, Psygnosis, and and basically, it's a, it's a racing game with a little bit of a twist, where um, generally, instead of trying to just win at a race, you're actually trying to wreck other cars and get more points. Um, I actually, I played this game a little bit. I did enjoy it. I played more of the sequel, which uh, looks better and uh, has better tracks, but I was able to get a hold of this one. Uh, I will start this up here. Fortunately, there are some load times. And then that, uh, it's kind of weird there, I actually had to choose if I was playing uh, alone or, or with another person, but I had to choose the number of, um, of PlayStations, it was strange. I'm going to choose my car real quick, this game has uh, three cars in it, it's basically a rookie, an amateur, and a pro car, and basically um, they have different levels of handling and top speed. Uh, the rookie has the best handling. And then the amateur and pro, they have higher top speeds but worse handling. Um, I'm gonna go with this one because it's black and looks cool and it has a name Grim Reaper. Uh, and then I think I'll, I'll probably do a couple races here. Uh, let's see here. I actually think what I want to do is let's do championship. Actually, see what the game is uh, all about. Oh, enter my game. No, sorry. Enter my name. Oh, nice big purple lettering. Is that an H? No, that's an M. That's, that is hard to actually notice. Okay, yep, that's my name. Go! Let's do this. Buckle up and sit tight. This is the this is my first race. Uh, we're gonna be getting into it here just momentarily. It's the first race of the season. And here we are. Oh, I'm actually excited off. Now, uh, as you're seeing, uh, this game has no analog support, so I have to do this all with the D-pad. And what I'm trying to do is to actually bash the other guys around so that. I can get points for it. It can be a little bit difficult, difficult to control, but it can also be a lot of fun. Um, as you see, it has my position, uh, the, the, the lap number that I'm on, and then in the lower right hand corner, you see like my car is held there. What section? Oh, gee, I'm all over the track. Ooh. But basically, uh, this is it. Another new thing is uh, the actual the music. Um, although I can't hear it, I was playing a little bit earlier. The music's like it's like this weird like like techno, and like the announcer is just like just like kind of crazy. Although I don't have a lot of points. This does have uh, different modes. Uh, the mode I'm playing in is called wrecking, uh, like wrecking racing. Which is basically you race around a track and smash down the cars to get points. It does have regular racing in it, as well as just like a demolition derby kind of mode. But uh, this first game overall, I find it. Uh, yeah, see, my car got destroyed there. I actually find it a little bit difficult to control. And some of how you score points is kind of strange. Um, you have to like cause guys to um, to like rotate around, and it's really kind of a pain sometimes. But it's also really funny is all the names of these guys: uh, Barbie Army, it's Passion Wagon, H Metal Hero, probably Heavy Metal Hero, Crunch Bunch. Oh, first was Suicide. I'm assuming that's Squad. Yeah, and they all, and they all have um, various, various uh, portraits. Pit compound. What is this?
Yeah, this loading is a little bit, a little bit ridiculous. Ooh. Oh, it allows me to actually see what each of the other cars are. It's interesting. The idol. Okay, let's get back. Actually, I'm, 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 I'm looking at the manual and it has this thing in it. It says, an unofficial history of destruction derby. With the invention of the motor car came the invention of the flagman. And shortly after the invention of the flagman came the invention that is destruction derby. Here's how. Dot dot dot. Put simply, the flagman was an early version of a traffic light. Walking slowly in front of road-going vehicles, it was his job to control the flow of cars through built-up areas. Obviously, this would not be a major contribution to road safety today, but in slower, less frantic days it was. Carrying both red and green flags, he would boldly wave the red flag if he wanted the vehicle behind him to stop, and this would be followed shortly after by the green flag, which signaled to the driver that the way was clear for their journey to continue. Occasionally, freak gusts of wind blew the flags into the face of the unwitting flagmen, and with their arms flailing, flailing wildly, they became the premium filling in a metal sandwich. The car owners were understandably pissed at the damage done to their fine bodywork, and yet found the attraction of bumper crunching action simply irresistible. And by the way, the manual does actually say the word pissed. Um, and so they set out to make it an official pastime. Hay bales were arranged to make a track, rules written, and then wheels spun into the dust. And the flagmen? They were allowed to, to preserve mind, body, and soul by simply starting the mayhem with a bold wave of both of their flags. And with this simple gesture, hold on, let me repeat that. And with this simple gesture, okay, okay, that is strange. The manual actually has a comma between simple and gesture. That is an actual typo in the gesture for the manual that came with this game. It actually says, and with this simple comma, gesture and all action, comma, highly addictive sport was born, dot, dot, dot. And then in brackets, honest. Nowadays, most cities in most countries across the world have a destruction derby track, and those which don't, such as Athens and Rome, remedy this by allowing the locals to use the public road system. But you don't need to worry about any of this. In fact, you don't even know how to drive because you have just become the proud owner of the best game in the world. Probably. So, round up your friends, crank it up real loud, and get wrecked. Yeah, I found that uh, kind of amusing. Didn't notice the typo. Would have made reading a little bit earlier. Let's get into another race, uh, crossover. I think this track like has an intersection in it. Can lead to some interesting crashes. We'll see here. I'm probably gonna do really bad because uh, I've never, I haven't played this game too much. I'll probably do this race and another one and probably end up. Really wish I could hear this better right now um, because when I was playing it earlier, the announcer was just hilarious. So I didn't the first. Oh, oh, jeez. Yeah. This is what happens when you try and uh, control with when you try and do a racing game with D-pad. What am I doing? Wow! Oh, come on! Oh, jeez! I got more points than I did in my last race. Okay, I was just kind of basically like trying to fix my trying to fix the way I was actually driving and I was doing good. That makes no sense. Like I said, I played more of the sequel, um, which I enjoyed a lot more. Um, there were others in the series, like Destruction Derby 64, uh, which, which a lot of people seem to say is the best one. I played Destruction Derby 4 a ton, and uh, I always preferred the second one to it. Jeez, these camera angles can be a bit of a pain. Oh, which way am I going? Oh, oh, jeez. They were just right there. Oh, jeez. My car is all messed up. Like, it's all broken, so I can't really control it as a result. Oh. <laughs> Head on collision. 360, that means, like, like that thing flying out of the, uh, the screen that said 360, that meant that I actually knocked someone uh, in, in, into a 360 degree spin. That actually gets like the most points. Oh, now they gotta finish the race. Oh man. The bouncer. Oh, I love these names. 
L driver, power maniac, trash man, attacks man. <sighs> no, I guess apparently I'm doing okay. Oh, I know, there it goes. Alright. I think I'll do one more race and then end this. Oh, look at that guy's mug. It's like. He's like an angry Hitler who shaved his mustache. Like. It's like he got upset that he had to shave his mustache and decided to go and race cars. Okay, one more race. <laughs> Ooh, Ocean Drive. Yes, we're gonna go for a nice relaxing drive along the ocean. Well, smashing other cars. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, man. Oh jeez. Yeah, I got knocked around there. You see, it's actually really not that important, like, what position you're in when doing wrecking racing. It's more, it's more important that you smash other cars around to get points. And, however, if you do something to the car that's in first place, the points are doubled. So... so in other words, you want to get... You want to get a hold of the guy who's in first place, just so you can smash into them and knock them out. Or you want to get a hold of that guy, just so you can smash into that. Jeez, oh, oh, I'm just gonna try backing up. This is probably this is probably actually like somewhat of a decent strategy. Okay, there's some cars there. Look at these textures, man. PlayStation 1 graphics, oh yeah. See, that's one thing that like I don't really like about this, is like, you don't get points for just hitting something. You have to knock, you have to knock them around. Spin them around, which is a bit of a pain when you're in like a regular race track. Oh, this is I was in first place, and here's me just trying to go straight. Oh, jeez, I crashed. Race over, huzzah! Now I've got to finish the race. <laughs> the goddess, Undertaker. Alright, uh, I'll wait for that, then I think I'm probably gonna end this one. I'm gonna do a short episode this week, just cause, uh, there's really not much more to this game than that. It's a fun game. Um, if you get the chance, I would certainly at least check it out, especially since, like, the, the genre has really kinda died out. Um, I mean, it continued up through, it continued through for a while. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the beast, that picture. But, um, it continued for a while, and then, I guess kinda, like, flat out sort of uh, really kind of took that over but um you know it's it's an interesting idea i would personally love to uh, see it come back and um and just kind of and just kind of get to do this again but uh, this is available on uh, psn uh, for download so yeah definitely check it out so uh yeah uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, i will see all of you next week